Hi, I'm Jake with Aero Building, and today I want to talk to you about Schluter's crack prevention membrane they call DITRA. Uh, we are on a remodel of a house prior to the new owners moving in. One of the things we're doing on this remodel is new flooring in the master bathroom and new flooring in the kitchen. Uh, we removed the tile, the old ugly tile that was here. Same thing for the kitchen, we pulled up some linoleum. Uh, both these spaces are getting tiled. And the way that we used to do this was we would come in and clean the substrate, the subfloor, and then thin set down a layer of cement board or hardy fiber cement board. And then once it was installed, we would go through and nail it four inches on square across the entire surface. And that system worked great. The only problems with that system were everybody was tired at the end of the day from using heavy, dusty, difficult to lug around materials. Basically, once you decide that you're going to use that product, the first problem you have is you're tired of working with those products. So about 10 years ago, we decided to look for an alternative, and this is what we found. This is a German company called Schluter. They manufacture a wide variety of things, all to do with tile, basically. They have a crack prevention membrane. They have a waterproofer for the shower walls. They even make their own drains and pans and curbs now so that you can do everything in your bathroom underneath your tile, one manufacturer, one warranty, which we think is fantastic. You don't have any disagreement or discrepancies on how things should have been done if you're following one manufacturer's rules uh, and their products are designed to work with each other. Their crack prevention membrane, if you can see, it has these little squares on the surface. The back side is just a, 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 almost like a paper. Uh, so these two are adhered together these little notches, they're a dovetail shape. So when the mortar is pushed into it, it's locked in place. Same thing from the bottom. So you spread mortar, you seat this in the mortar, and then when we're using small tile, we do a day before scratch coat where we completely fill all these voids, and then we come back and lay our tile the next day as we would over anything else that's flat because we don't want our little tile to sink down into any of these spaces. But if we're using a large tile, we just scratch coat it and then go ahead and lay right over top of it. This product is waterproof if you take the seams. So when we're talking about having a, say, zero entry shower that leads to a shower floor or a bathroom floor, rather, um, we don't have to worry about that shower ever running over and getting out of the shower because our bathroom floor is waterproof. It's also vapor proof which means we don't have to worry about wicking from concrete or different rooms of the house wicking moisture into this from below or anything like that because it's vapor proof or harming our tile or anything on the surface leaking down to our water sensitive substrates such as our subfloor or our framing. It is supportive even though it almost feels like it's plastic. It's as supportive enough that you can drive a car over top of it once it's tiled basically. Uh, you're not going to get any strength or lack of strength compared to the other guys, the hardier fiber cement or anything like that. It's also an uncoupling membrane, which is the main reason we started looking at it. So this should prevent any cracking or foundation movement problems that would then transfer to tile. Uh, the system is two pieces even though they're adhered, so they're allowed to shift back and forth. And so when you're installing ceramic or stone, we really feel like this is the way to go, this entire system. So not just the cup uncoupling membrane, but the other systems. So watch for more videos on that. If you want more information about us, check us out on aerobuilding.com. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.